Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing Hunter x Hunter, episodes 35, 36 and 37. I can't remember the last time I felt so much hype like in previous episodes, man. Mainly because of Hisoka and those crazy twists and reveals. First of all, we see his uh, mind-boggling battle against Castro and his magic trick, he pulling out the card from his severed arm. He losing both of his arm and then suddenly one arm appears again. He's confusing Castro completely, making him go crazy and finishing him off with stabbing him in many areas on his body. It was really brutal, frenzy dance, as Fisoka said. A true savage, man. Fisoka, Fisoka is also one of my favorite characters. I can't deny that. He's freaking amazing, man. Especially after reveal. Okay, so there is the girl who is probably also with the Phantom Troop, right? She can use Nen stitches and she fixed Hisoka's arm. She can reattach everything like it never happened. Bones, muscles, blood vessels, nerves everything <laughs> it comes with a huge price she asked like 15 mil or something but yeah she said if you don't come uh in york new right boss might come to hunt you hunt you down himself and hisoka was saying oh how scary <laughs> we know that hisoka later on we found out that the phantom troop is yet another target for him he was using his ability texture surprise to make the spider tattoo with number four on his back what a guy when he removed that and slapped it on the wall man that was so epic bro and before that she was saying how he doesn't look back he doesn't look at the past he's looking forward at the future and how he will forget castro's face tomorrow and it looks like he soccer likes challenge man so he joined phantom troop so he can fight them as well He's insane, bro. He's freaking insane. And of course, there was that whole explanation about Hisoka against Castro fight. We thought while watching that, that was insane. But when they started breaking that shit down, every freaking move that Hisoka made was relevant. It was all planned. His aura can stretch and it's like... Uh, gum, it's called bungee gum. He, he can attach his aura to others, man. That's insane. And he has texture surprise, which he can use his Nen aura to create like the surface of anything. That is kind of broken, man. And the way he's using it was so creative. And we learned about Zetsu application called In which is concealing your aura so that you can't see it, right? And that's what Isoka was using. But you can counter it with Ren application called Gyo, which is focusing Ren basically in your eyes. And then you can see through opponents in, man. It's getting even more complex and I freaking loved it. Of course, stuff with Kilua, threatening Sadaso, uh, making him leave. He was so pissed because they uh, threatened Zushi. Kilua was like, okay, whatever. I will sign up uh, the same day so that you can get a free win. But once he learned that they threatened Gon as well, he was pissed. bro. And Gon was pissed, of course, uh, because of Zushi as well. He broke uh, Guido's prosthetic leg and he was saying, if you ever do this to Zushi again, I will smash your face in. That was amazing. Gon destroyed him and Reinhold as well. I hope that's his name. I don't really, uh, I didn't really remember his name. And Kilwa also won against him. That was really, really amazing, man. They both learned how to use Gyo, which was incredible. And now, Isoka appears to be satisfied with Gon's progression so much so that he told Gon pick time and place. I will be your opponent. Like, there is no way that Gon can win in the battle against Hisoka still. But maybe he wants to test it himself to see how far Gon went while after this training with 
Ving. Ving is phenomenal, man. Ving and Zushi are both cool characters. But yeah, I was kinda surprised that Hisoka said that and now I don't know what to expect. It's so much hype, man. <laughs> Without further ado, let's start episode number 35. Let's begin. Alright, everything is ready. Let's start. Ten. Oh, I forgot to mention that Kilo also talked to those two, Reinhvalt or whatever, and Gido. He was such a savage, bro. I like how Zushi was trying to stop them from training, he felt kinda bad, they are shattering his, I guess, records. Because they did say that Zushi is extremely talented as well, and I like how Gon was fighting, how he won against Gido with the fishing rod and tile trick. It's about to go down. He's being very serious. The true pass. Let's see. Oh, look at the night shot of him answering. Oh, Hatsu. Individual land style. Yep, I'm excited for that man. And he inserts a label and goes strength in objects. Aura of that's a lot of new information. Yeah, it's individual. Yep. Tonismasarita Wow. まれにオーラが特質系に力が自分のオーラの性質に合わなければ習得に苦労するでしょう。Transmuter and emitter. Yeah, it's completely on the opposite side from enhancer. Which is what? Transmuter, yep. Enhancing objects, yeah. Mm, because it's far from Enhancer, right? Yeah, which is what Conjurer. Oh my god, bro! There is so much more to me. This is insane. I will have to fucking rewatch this already. I already know. どうです。自分の持つオーラの性質と能力の重要さを理解してもらえましたか？いや。Bro, Wing is such a great teacher. Oh, my question. There has to be a way, right? Yeah, there is. Water, what? Divination. Shingen Ryu technique for classifying Kiwara. Shingen Ryu, that's what Zetsu practices. Uh, Zushi. Oh, that's interesting. Mizuno Ryoga Kawano, Kyoka Kano Akashi, Watashi no Raga, 
ゴンソラ。ゴンの消火系が。ゴンの消火系が。ゴンの消火系が。ゴンの消火系が。ゴンの消火系が。ゴンの消火系が。ゴンの消火系が。ゴンの消火系が。ゴンの消火系が。
We will get. Oh my boy! Became static. He's literally studying like in the opening. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nice. We're getting some updates. Yo, I'm getting chills right now. Look at this shit, bro. I love this track. Yeah, it's just that they're beasts. One in ten million talents. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hell yeah. That was too good. That was too freaking good, man. So the match is tomorrow. I mean, we are probably right now at the day. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the people are already getting ready. This is really happening. And it's in Heaven's Arena. He said big time and place. They're fighting here. This is about to be insane. Knowing his sock and how he fought Castro, he might let Gon do something at the beginning. Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought some shit is about to go down, but this is their intro. Oh my god. This is Gon's. <laughs> he already has, has some fans. Oh my god, the blue fire for Hisoka. Mantiki is for sure. He wouldn't kill Gon. Not yet, at least. <laughs> I'm so high for this man. Even though I doubt that Gon can win. The determination is there, man. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He's so <laughs> Wait, I thought it was. What the fuck? This fucking junk is shining, man. It's getting turned on by fighting opponents with potential, bro. <laughs> oh my god, is it creepy, though? He's very heals, man. Let's go, go on. Oh, the same move as against Hanzo. Oh. oh, what the fuck? Holy shit, he's going get it. No, he's touching everything. What is happening? Go gun, go gun! Oh, ooh, elbow to the face! Bro! Gun improved so much! But his sock is still rocking him. Oh, that was a block! <laughs> nice, bro! Gun is crazy! Okay, okay! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is so fucking tense! I was not expecting that, bro! <laughs> what? He hasn't even moved and gone his face because of that. <laughs> we know how gone is. He's now going to let him try to make him move. Just like he, how he tried to. Make Netaro use other arm. Oh my god, what a beautiful exchange. Gon was amazing, man. But yeah, Isoka is still stronger. Mm. That might be true, what Kilua said. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, bro. What was that? <laughs> In the tile again. <laughs> Ooh, he shattered it, man! It's a distraction! He's gone! <laughs> He's gone! 
He's behind! He's behind! Let's go, go on! Crack him! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> he cracked him, man! He's bleeding! <laughs> he did the thing that he promised to end! He moved him from the spot, man! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man, what a freaking episode. Yeah, I know, but it's worth it. It's worth it, man. I know that he will lose, man. Holy fuck, man. That was amazing, man. Wow. Yo, is that is that showing what are they? Like enhancer on top, right? And we have transmuter, which means that Leorio is what? Manipulator and Rapika Conjurer, I think. And what's down there? Like special. Spe something spe with special. I forgot. But I think. Wow! That's so fucking cool, man. Let's see what we have here. He needs no introduction. Bungie Gum and Text of Surprise. <laughs> what the fuck did they do? <laughs> the same thing that his sucker did right now. <laughs> when he said I'm getting turned on. Oh my god. <laughs> my boy Gon did it. Yo, those moans. Oh my god, we are getting to see this again. Look at this, man! Look at this, bro! A big depth and a small kick. And the way he landed and the music kicked in. Perfect. And he only got one critical hit, if I remember, from Castro. Gon is leading also. Look at them being proud, man. <laughs> Let's fucking go. What the fuck is this? Shiny guy. Strategy, yeah. For great. Exactly. <laughs> what? Who the fuck is that? I mean, the commentator doesn't know. It looks like Hisoka has a ball instead of stomach. Of course he's smiling, bro, of course. He fucking loves this. Gon is approaching him as well. <laughs> oh, the thing! <laughs> Amazing, bro. Amazing, that's why he was approaching him like that. I will take that back when you are able to punch me in the face, just like that. Wow, who would have thought that it would happen so early, man? Okay, <laughs> he's always flexing his magic tricks. God, I love his soccer, man. Mm. All of the basics. Oh shit! Blood type personality? Simple and earnest. He nailed it! He's right! <laughs> and then look at Wing's face! Because Wing is also a cancer! <laughs> We clan this honest. It fits in a little bit. Can wise. <laughs> oh, we need to skip short clippers. Opposing personalities at work. Oh my god, bro. Wow, and it fits well with Kilo and Gon's dynamic. Holy shit. Oh boy, he's getting serious. He's about to use his snend. 
His pink color is so cool. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> we are about to have a beat down. What the fuck? It was like he was about to shoot Kamehameha. Kamehameha wave. Ooh. Brother. Did he kick that tile with one simple kick? Okay, he's way above our level, man. He's a monster. He can shake him off. Even though he blocked it, it still hurts like hell, man. Oh my god. The sheer force of that attack. <laughs> oh, ooh, right on the back, man. Fuck. He's getting dizzy already, yep. It's wraps, it's over. Gon was doing great job evading all those attacks, but yeah. Hisoka didn't want to give up until he landed that. Oh, amazing. <laughs> forget it, I'm brainstorming. I have to forget how fucking pure and honest Gon is, man. Yeah, whenever you go, he's already behind you. Oh yeah, use Gyo! He might be using the bungee gun. Okay, he's using Gyo. There it is. Oh my god, it's attached to his face! Pulling him with his aura, man. Imagine if he wasn't using Yo. It would be like he's like using some sort of force. Wow! With one finger. It's okay, something else, man. Oh my god, bro, that wind up. Oh, Jesus. Yo, the animation of this battle is insane. <laughs> Elastic love, bro. <laughs> Fuck off, Hisoka. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty much over. But this has to be the best battle of the series, man. Four more points. Yep. Yeah, you can't get rid of it. You can It's not like you can cut it or some shit. Maybe use your own aura, but... Gon... Can't do that, man. <laughs> of course. Oh my god, he's getting dizzy. Go on, you're gonna get badly injured. No, <laughs> I'll give you a free hit. What the hell? Probably somewhere early in the fight. No, it's not critical. Wouldn't make sense, right? The elbow makes the most sense. I don't think... Yeah, it's not that. Oh shit! It's neither! Freaking Hisoka, man, and his trickery! <laughs> that was cute. Oh my god, yeah, he would have attached it back then. Yo, I like this. This is like a training for Gon, man. Okay, Hisoka. バンジーガムをつけることができる。オーラを隠して使うのは愛に尽ける。殴る時ならオーラが見えようが見えまいが関係ないだろ。メックスコンプリートセンス。ひそかの打撃を避けられなきゃ。隠したオーラを強で見破
<laughs> That's my boy, looks fucking good. Ooh. Oh my god, he's so <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Please don't. <laughs> what the fuck am I watching, bro? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> to break you. Oh my god, Hisoka is literally psycho, bro. But not yet. Oh shit! Did he let him? Oh my god, bro! Oh my god, he's letting him hit! The rich scare and you hate! <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> oh my god, this size D, this fucking fight! Ooh. Oh my god, here comes another one! Oof. Oh my god! Oh shit! He blocked that one! Bro, Gon is doing fantastic job. This guy Hisoka is crazy powerful, man. He is even more powerful than I anticipated, man. And Gon, what he learned, the basics. Of course, he lacks experience, but he's doing phenomenal job against Hisoka. The fact that he's still up, yeah. He will lose though. His sock is just built differently, man. Oh my god. Oh, one, one more point. Well, referee is probably trying to protect him, right? Because referee knows that he stands no chance and he's like, let's finish this quickly, otherwise you will get in hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh what the fuck? Hisoka you son of a bitch! Why would you need to do that man? Oh come on! Trust blindly his opponents. Yeah, it's over. The best fight man so far. That was so incredible man. Oh shit what a show. He returned his tag at least. Yeah, every every second counts. Isoka is extremely intelligent, man. And he has high fighting IQ, it seems, as well. Exactly. About 10 more fights. I will not fight you here again. Oh, without any rules to restrain us. Damn! So far away, yep. But not out of reach. The right to challenge the floor master? Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. They were instances in real life in boxing and in other sports where referees didn't end the fight even though opponents were getting badly injured and some of unfortunate fights led to fighter's death, man. You can never be too careful with that shit. If you notice that one opponent is un unable to fight on the same level. Yeah, with those categories now, man. 
自分お二人に会えてよかったっすよう努力のしがいがあるっす Hell yeah, man. 覚えられると思ってんのいつか必ず One day for sure <laughs> 楽しみに待ってるよ<laughs> そしてフィンクさんあ、We are parking r a c e with them 二人ともお元気でそしていつかまた会おうおすう See ya, boys. That's right. It was his objective to return the tag. Oh, this is another version of the opening song. Ooh, let's go! He's going back. Nice! <laughs> really? Oh, that would be so fucking dope. <laughs> This is the end of Heaven's Arena for now. Wow. Whew. This fucking show, bro. <laughs> exactly. The goal has been met, and it's time to chill a little bit and get back to training. Okay, let's see Hunterpedia. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> We are back, baby. Whale Island. And look at the spot where they have the house. It's literally near the cliff. It's, it looks so cool and peaceful. Ah, yeah. <laughs> This is about to be emotional, man. Half a year, man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> And my boy Kiloa. <laughs> Jing and Gon. Ooh, are we about to learn more about Jing? I am ready. Yo and Kiloa will experience a completely different. Like family than what he's used to. <laughs> literally. <laughs> They're literally best friends, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at Kilua. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> This is so wholesome, man. Oh, are those meatballs? Oh, they have plenty of stuff. That looks amazing. Oh, he's already eating. <laughs> he's like, what the hell are they doing? We don't do that. <laughs> A prayer. Offering our thanks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My heart is so big right now, just seeing two of them enjoying Hilwa escaping the chains of his family, man. This is life, bro, right now. This is how the kids should live their lives. Mito! <laughs> Don't scare him like that. Look at Hilwa, man! <laughs> I feel so sad for him that he never experienced such a relationship, man. But also, Gon grew up without his parents and... Knowing that his father abandoned him. These kids deserve all the best, man. Yo, look at them. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I want whole episode of this. Oh, is that the spot, man? There we saw Gon at the first episode. Nice. Wow, oh, this is so relaxing. His first friend. It's first for both of them. <laughs> They've caught a fish, so they're fine. It's nice sky as well. Just chilling near the campfire. This is amazing. 
continue searching for his father. York knew, yep. Let's not forget about that. <laughs> exactly, man. Oh, man. It's okay. You're still in the process of figuring yourself out, man. <laughs> I like that he's letting his feelings out in the open like that. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> These kids are so precious, man. <laughs> he's getting embarrassed. Wow, so not even during his childhood he wasn't playing with anyone. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking messed up. <laughs> Let's stick together. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not in Gon's case, man. He's too honest. He will let everything out how he feels. So satisfying seeing Kilwa like this with Gon on Vale Island, man. Oh. Oh, we never actually learned. Wow. Because of Mita. Also, when did he find out that his father was a hunter? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> She's the only one I hear. <laughs> My God. <laughs> yeah. That's the classic mom thing, man. Well, she's kind of odd. <laughs> she's listening to this, bro. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh, I like this episode a lot, man. Watching this show is so satisfying. Oh, Jing. Wait. Me to give you this, and you be come. became a hunter, so his father expected Gon to become a hunter. I figured that out, yeah. Of his back, always running after him. Wow. <laughs> There's something that I want and he looks exactly like Gon, man. <laughs> ah, that sucks. There is something that I want at 12 years. Oh crap, she lost her parents in the accident. And right after Jing left, that's so fucked up, man. Jesus Christ, what is the fucking fate of this family? 
the bad things started piling up when he left. Wow! So he got gone when he was 22? Yo, look at little gone! Holy shit! So wait, he got gone while he was a hunter. So did he leave gone because he was a hunter? He was afraid for gone that people will go after him because he's a hunter and he has to protect the license and he's quite famous. Okay, we have that possibility. <laughs> She's getting embarrassed. We have nothing about her, man. <laughs> she keeps saying. <laughs> Did you see Gwen's reaction, man? When he learned that? <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't actually want to do that, right? She wanted to keep the promise, yeah. Yeah, even Mito doesn't know much about him, but what we learned. It's kind of odd, man. Everything is kind of weird, but also so mysterious. What does he mean? Oh, he's using his name, Jin, instead of father. No, he didn't. Just like on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn the granny! <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Wow, she got lost. <laughs> he would always find her. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> she was also quite lonely. That's him, yo, what a scene, man. Spitting image of gone. He seemed like a nice guy, man. A bit mysterious and odd, but nice. There is something that I want when he said that at the age of 12. Oh, Kiloa is knocked out, man. He's sleeping. I thought he might be listening. So what do we do with that? There has to be some sort of trick. Yeah, Kiloa is pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, if he can't open it with force, man. Yeah, it's too risky. Once you become a hunter. Oh my god, Nin! Oh, license! Oh, it, he meant Nin! <laughs> god. Wow, once he becomes a hunter, a true hunter with this hidden exam, it's opening. <laughs> What the fuck is this blast? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> it looks like a <laughs> RAM memory or something. That's right! The promised red. So that works with Nen. Nen. 
Oh, maybe <laughs> it, it, that's literally the case. So both of them were right. What the fuck? A cassette tape? A ring? <sighs> I doubt, but be cautious. Damn, it's been ages since I saw one of these men. Is it some sort of message? <laughs> Yo, Gon! <laughs> Is that his father? No, no, no way, man! <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Do you want to see me? And he also anticipated that his son would become a hunter, man. Oh, look at the drawings. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. That was incredible, guys. Fight against Hisoka. Gone against Hisoka is the best fight of this series, man. I was kinda caught off guard because of all those like barrages of attack that Gon used on Hisoka at the very beginning of the match, man. Because you know, hunter hunter fights are kinda dope, but they are always unpredictable and usually they the, those exchanges don't last that long. So that was insane. And the way uh, they've played some music in the back, it's not music, it's just the sound of something building up, right? There wasn't any OST or anything like that, and it was so intense, it served its purpose perfectly, man. And when Gon uh, lifted that tile and destroyed it, he hid behind that rubble and he cracked his soccer right in the face, man. That was so satisfying. And the way he landed on the ground and looked at him with the ending song, man, it simply can't get any better than that. It was one of my favorite episodes. Man. Amazing fight, bro. And Hisoka was of course toying with him, he was impressed by Gon's moves, Gon was doing his best to try and dodge those attacks, but yeah, he tricked him, he attached his bungee gum on his cheek, and he was helpless completely after that. But even if he was using Gyo from the beginning, Hisoka made a good point, when he elbowed him, when he uh, rocked him on the back, when he kicked him, he had plenty of opportunities to attach his bungee gum, so it's sorta of like a lesson for Gon, this fight, and also not to believe your opponent blindly when he said look to the left or to the right and he brings the tile, the piece of tile from opposite side, man. <laughs> and I like how referee, that was so realistic detail and I like that, that they included that referee was trying to end the match ASAP because he saw that God has no chance and that he would just ended up being badly injured, even though his soccer probably wouldn't go that far, but still, Ref did a good job uh, when they started walking towards each other and Gon, and Gon returned the tag, that was amazing moment. So we already made a full circle. On that promise from Zevil Island from Fort Exam, during Hunter Exam, Fort Phase. That's something that I didn't see coming, but also he didn't beat Hisoka, he just landed that one hit. So that's why I'm, of course, completely fine with it, because there will be more and more, more challenges before he's able to actually win in a battle against Hisoka. So far, that seems impossible for anyone, man. I I started doubting that perhaps even Chairman Netero could not face him. We know 
that Hisoka said, I want to face you, and Chairman was like, okay, okay, whatever. So I was always wondering, could Hisoka actually take him on, but now after seeing Hisoka in these fights, man, who knows, maybe he actually can, he's insane. Fantastic character, Hisoka is one of my favorite villains, but the way they are making him moan, he's getting third on, that creepy LSD scene of him going, gun, gun. <laughs> what the fuck was that, man? They're making him seem like a borderline pedo, bro. That was so fucking weird, man. He basically has a thing for, I guess, like opponents, strong opponents, opponents with potential, since he Phantom Troop is a target for him. I guess he's like Goku, but he's uh, showing it in a very, very different way, man. It's literally arousing him. It's kind of weird, to be honest, but <laughs> what the hell. So he also hinted that next time they're about to fight, it will be a life or death situation, right? Fight outside of Heaven's Arena with no rules. Wing and Zushi, we parted ways with them, it was uh, also quite emotional, uh, they grew on me a lot, I like both Wing and Zushi, and Wing even more expands on Nen abilities, we have categories of Nen, which kinda makes sense, so they have the test water deviation, right, where they place that leaf, and then use or Ren or whatever, their Nen aura, and that's how they can see which category they fall in. Of course, there is like the natural potential that is given to every person by birth, and there is a second potential that is refined throughout experiences and your life as you are growing up, and it's possible for your... Uh, category to change later on, that's also important to remember. And Gon falls into the same category as Wing, Enhancer. And I like how Hisoka had personality test that was spot on. What did he say about Enhancers? Earnest and simple, man. <laughs> I would probably fall into that category as well, not gonna lie. I would probably be Enhancer. And then we have uh, Transmuters who are fickle and dishonest, right? Like Hilua and Hisoka, but they go well together, as Hisoka pointed out, man, I really like that. So we have enhancers that can strengthen objects, we have transmuters who can, I guess, like, alter the qualities of their aura, we have conjurers who are able to manifest their aura, what Castro was doing with his clone, he was manifesting that clone, right? We have emitters who can literally emit their aura, manipulators, can manipulate objects and animals and we have specialists which doesn't fall into any of those previous mentioned categories and there is a hexagon for example if you're enhancer you can uh, use some transmuter skills or emitter skills right but if you try to go for conjurer or a manipulator it will be very very hard and of course, if you try to do something that specialists can do, that would be probably impossible because they're completely opposite sides. So that's very interesting. So that means that if you are transmuter, you are okay with uh, using enhancer ability or conjurer ability, right? And transmuters would uh, probably have uh, hardships using the most hardship using uh, manipulator ability and later on emitter ability. I'm blown away, man. I really like this power system that they introduced. I liked it as a simple concept of Nen, Ten, Zetsu, Ren, Hatsu. But the way they are expanding it little by little in Gyo, these categories right now, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's such a cool concept, so if the water overflows, it's enhancer, if water becomes sweet, it starts muter, and if the leaf starts moving, it's manipulator, What? right? Which makes sense, all of them. We got information from Wing that Kurapika actually learned the name as well, and Hanzo, 
uh, Pokul was struggling, but he is getting there as well, and Leroy is just studying, he is not learning Nen, and of course, Illumi and Hisok already knew. The episode with Jing was interesting. I really like that we got such a chill episode and that Killua sticks around and he went with Gon and he is experiencing completely different atmosphere and dynamic and he was being weirded out why uh, is Mitosan ordering the, and Gon is immediately doing it, right? Uh, and he, he was taking a bed, they were eating, he was enjoying the food, he was also... Uh, not used to people praying uh, for the food, right? And I like how uh, Kilo question gone about his mom, right? And Gon says that he sees Mito san as his mom and that he doesn't want to ask her about his actual mom because he thinks that it would maybe hurt her. He is such an amazing child, man. And the way he straight up said that he likes being in Kilua's presence and that Kilua also stated his feelings that he was a little bit jealous and that he is simply trying to find his goal and he, he has many things that he doesn't want to do which is stay with his family and follow in their footsteps to become assassin which was really nice that he opened up like that and said that he's goalless but he will accompany Gon until he finds his goal as well. He will try to stick around for more adventures with Gon in, while Gon is in pursuit of his father, who was also 12 years old when he became hunter and said that there is something that he wants. There is so much mystery surrounding his character. He also grew out, uh, he also grew up without friends, he was only able to hang out with Mito, but he was younger than him right and we saw that scene when she went follow him and then she was hiding at some spots and he's the only one who was able to find her he probably has the same instincts that Gwan has what is the most fascinating is that he expected his son to become a hunter even though that Mito was trying to hide that information from him uh, they told him at first that his parents both of them died I didn't know that or if they mentioned, I completely forgot. And he learned some time later that his father became a hunter and he instantly wanted to become one as well. And we remember in first episode he said, uh, like, that's amazing, I wanna see what it means to be a hunter. Why is that so exciting that you would leave your own child behind, right? It's kinda sad, but also very mysterious. And considering that Jing actually brought Gon when he was already a hunter, back maybe implies that he's trying to protect Gon because hunter world of hunters can be cruel and people would go after your card and after your wealth. Especially, especially if you are a huge hunter, someone that examiners are looking up to, like Satots is looking up to Jing. It would make sense, man. It still sucks pretty much, both for Kilua and Gon. Well, Kilua is a whole different story, man. It really sucks, both Kilua and Gon had terrible childhoods. I mean, Gon can't compare to Kilua that much, really. Yeah, he did grow up without parents, but he had a mother figure that was Mito-san, and there, there was that granny as well, who lost her two sons, man, and Mito's parents died in an accident when Jing left the island, it's like he was there like guardian angel or something, when he left everything went to shit, man, that was really tragic to hear, but yeah, I'm really really happy to see boys enjoying so much, them being happy just running around, going for a swim, uh, watching the starry night near the campfire, talking to each other, appreciating each other, making plans, to travel the world and stick around and become basically best friends and Gon will help Kilua realize what he wants to do in life and he will do so by helping Gon for reaching his goal so it's pretty nice man it's one extremely wholesome friendship man and I am super excited for more because this show is so far 10 out of 10 man 
I do wonder what is that ring, memory card and tape. We saw what is tape. <laughs> it's a freaking message from Gun's father. So he anticipated that he would become a hunter and then he becomes one to open that box. And that means then he learns Nen, right? But Gwen said, oh, we have a card. What's something that we didn't have? before that we got when we became hunters and god says card which is also true but i also thought of nen first but we need both actually and now that he played that tape we hear what appears to be jinx voice saying yogon i assume you became a hunter i have a question for you do you want to see me holy shit and that's how episode ends maybe he now wants to slowly teach Gon something now that he has learned Nen by himself. I don't really know what is the deal with his father. It's so hard to tell. It's very, very hard to tell. He's shrouded in mystery. There is also that ring and memory card and there is stuff written on the, those pieces of box. It's like some sort of signs, just like on that promised thread. And I assume you need Nen to activate things that he has those signs. I can't wait to learn what happens in next episode and to see the rest of the message and how will Gon respond to all of this. It's amazing, man. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya, guys.